and I'm Marvin. Oh, what's this, Marvin? <gasps> oh, this? This is mac and cheese, my favorite food in the whole wide world. I was so hungry, so I asked my mama to make some for me. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me see. Ah, but it's cold. Is this frozen? Why is it frozen? Oh, I, I put it in the freezer because if you put food in the freezer, it actually lasts longer. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I froze it because I might get hungry later, so I need to eat it then. Oh, well, if you were hungry, you should have eaten it. Oh, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're right. I should have just eaten it. Now, I just have to wait till it thaws again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silly Marvin. You know, in today's Bible story, when God's people went in the wilderness, God gave them bread from heaven. But He told them to gather only what they needed that day, and He didn't want them to save any for later. Oh, well, they probably couldn't because they didn't have freezers back then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're right, but that's not why God told them to not save it. He did because He wanted them to trust Him. Oh, wow. So today's Bible story, story, it sounds really, really cool and interesting. Hey, let's hurry and go worship, Pastor April. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, kids, I know you are worshiping at home again this week, but don't forget that God is watching over you. He's there right next to you, even though you're at home in front of the screen. After you're done with Sunday worship, please let your teacher know that you attended today's worship. And next week, we will finally meet again at church. Woohoo! I miss you so much. Okay, Marvin, now can you do the shout for us? Yeah, oh, but before I do, I want to say that too. What? Kids, I miss you guys too. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's go worship.
Hi boys and girls, were you guys all blessed at Elijah morning prayer? I know it was a very tiring time, but I know that God was very blessed and pleased by you coming out to worship and to pray. Today's Bible passage comes from John chapter 6 verse 35. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. John chapter 6 Verse 35. Amen. Hi, Bather Kids. What did you all eat for breakfast this morning? Cereal? Eggs and toast? Today, we will learn about the food God provided for His people to prevent them from going hungry in the wilderness. And they literally named the food, What is it? because they were not quite sure what they were eating. Let's take a closer look. Moses led God's people from the Red Sea to the wilderness. They were hungry, so they complained to Moses. We wish we had died in Egypt. At least there was food to eat, they said. You brought us out here to starve. But Moses had not brought them out there to die. God was in control. God's glory appeared in a cloud and said to Moses, I've heard the Israelites' complaints. Tell them, in the evening you will eat meat, and in the morning you will eat bread until you are full. They will know that I am the Lord your God. Sure enough, quail came into the camp in the evening. In the morning, fine flakes like frost were on the ground. What is it? The Israelites asked. Moses said, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. The Israelites called the bread manna, which means, what is it? God told the people to collect just enough to eat for the day. If they collected too much, the leftovers went bad. He told them to collect twice as much on the sixth day, because the seventh day was the Sabbath, a day to rest. The Israelites did not always follow God's instructions. Sometimes they collected too much manna, and sometimes they tried to collect manna on the Sabbath day. God provided for his people, and he wanted them to trust him and obey him. The Israelites ate manna for 40 years, the whole time they were in the wilderness. The Israelites moved about the wilderness as God told them to do. One day they came to a camp with no water. Give us something to drink, they told Moses. Why are you complaining to me? Moses asked. The Israelites had forgotten that God was with them and had a plan for them. You brought us out here to die, they said again. Lord, what should I do? Moses cried out. God showed Moses a rock and instructed him to hit it with his staff. Water came out of it and the people drank. It was a sign 
that the Lord was with them. God provided water and manna for his people's physical hunger. Later, he provided his son, Jesus, for our spiritual hunger. Jesus said, I am the bread of life, John 6, 35. The Israelites needed bread to live for a little while, but whoever has Jesus will live forever. What do you notice about yourself when you're hungry, thirsty, or tired? Yeah, you get cranky and grumpy, right? Me too. I became impatient when I'm hungry and tired. As you can imagine, walking through the wilderness without food or water made the Israelites hungry, thirsty, and tired. They were so unhappy that they blamed God Instead of focusing on all the amazing things that He had done for them, they chose to focus only on the things that made them feel uncomfortable. And they complained. Do you remember what we learned about complaining during Elijah morning service last week? Complaining is to praise the devil, and thinking is to praise the Lord. We don't want to praise the devil, but we complain a lot without knowing what we are doing. Just like that, instead of praising God's greatness, the Israelites did what the devil loves, complaining. Now, what do you think God did to these complaining Israelites? Did He scold them or give them a punishment? Surprisingly, God didn't do any of those. Instead, God met their needs by sending quail into the camp and covering the ground with manna in the morning. This is God's grace. He doesn't give us His goodness because we deserve it or because we do the right things. In fact, He gives us His goodness even though we don't deserve it. What we eat, what we have, where we live, what we do, everything is because of the grace of God. Now, God provided manna for His people's physical hunger, but later He provided His Son, Jesus, for our spiritual hunger. Last week, many of you have been attending Eliza morning service, reading the Bible, and starting QT, all of which are the Word of God, and we do this every day. But why do we do all of this? Well, the Bible also calls Jesus the bread of life. Do you know why? Because just like the Israelites need bread every day to survive, we need Jesus, the bread of life, every day. Every day, when we spend time in God's Word, we are taking Jesus into our souls just like the Israelites took the bread into their bodies. So everyone, Let's imagine we are taking a bite of His bread and continue to take Jesus into our souls every day by continuing to pray and read the Bible to remind us of God's wonderful grace towards us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for always providing for us and taking care of us. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, the bread of life, so that we can fulfill our spiritual hunger with your word every day. We thank you for being a part of our life. We pray that you will help us to take time to pray and think about you every day so that you can feed our souls with your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
This past week, you all should have received a PDF file for our January QTN booklet. These are some QTN guidelines. Number one, start with prayer. Ask God to speak to you this morning and that He will give you a humble heart to listen to His word. Number two, read the passage three times with your parents or by yourself if you can read. What are the parts that really touched your heart? You may underline those parts or write it down on your notebook. Number three, read the questions and try to answer. Ask your parents as well, what are their responses to the questions? Number four, share your application with your parents. What does God want you to change in your life? How did God speak to you this morning? Number five, end with prayer. One of your parents or you may end today's QT time with prayer. Ask God to fill your heart with His Word and to make this day an awesome day walking with Him. Boys and girls, God is always with you and He is always speaking to you through His words. All we need to do is listen. We pray that God will speak to you today through your QT time. Please memorize Romans chapter 3, verse 23 by January 16th. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. 모든 사람이 죄를 범하였음에 하나님의 영광에 이르지 못하더니. 로마서 3장 23절 말씀. 아멘. 주 안에서 항상 기뻐하라. 다시 말하노니 기뻐하라. 빌립 Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. in the Lord always I will say it again rejoice believings chapter 4 verse 4 bye there's no greater Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. Forgive.